now. Uh, over the last five decades, the cult pop band Sparks have often been described as unsung heroes or the biggest band you've never heard of. I haven't heard of them. Really? No. Oh. It says more about me than anything else. Probably. <laughs> Uh, well, after selling out the Albert Hall twice this year and announcing a headline gig at the Hollywood Bowl, it seems those terms no longer apply, our arts correspondent David Silito went to meet them. We are Sparks. Dude. Please welcome Sparks. Sparks. Most pop careers start with a bang, and then it's a slow fade. But not with Sparks. Russell had the voice. Ron, the moustache and the songwriting talent. And 50 years after writing, this town ain't big enough for the both of us. They're suddenly drawing the biggest crowds of their career. You're selling out not one, but two nights the Royal Albert Hall. Yes. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> you sound e uh, even more surprised than we are, you know. <laughs> We were huge Anglophiles when we were growing up, you know, and getting our musical kind of uh, inspiration early on. And part of all of that was this iconic Royal Albert Hall that just to us was like, oh my God, it's the, the kind of the pinnacle. Over the years, there have been 26 albums, many ups and downs, and a glorious determination to never give up. There isn't anything else that we can do. We're pretty uh, hopeless in any other situation. So we, you know, we kept plowing on. And now, even though their ages are like most personal details about them, a bit of a mystery, they're enjoying a glorious Indian pop summer in what is probably their mid to late 70s. Was this what you planned all along? This was the, your plan for your career? Of, of course, yeah, it's, it's just natural. It's you know? all, uh, we had it all charted out. Looks like it's a repeat. So what explains it all? Determination to keep on creating new singles that are attracting fans whose parents weren't even born when they started, and a recent documentary. Are you brothers? We are brothers. How did you first meet? We are brothers. In which any famous names revealed their secret love of all things Sparks. The documentary all the people who, you know, they love you. Was that a surprise? It is, it's, it's satisfying knowing that we've both been able to retain people that appreciate what we did a while ago, but also that there are brand new people coming in that kind of assume that we're a new band just from the music is, is something that really is uh, inspiring to us. And finally, for Ron, who has for more than 50 years stayed true to that look and a slightly static stage presence, there has been in recent years an innovation. The Ron dance. And the dance. You're going to be doing the dance? I hate to ruin any surprises, but there, there might be. My audience won't allow me to uh, retire the dance. So there it is, after 50 years, Ron and Russell are having a moment. David Saletto, BBC News. I think I've done the wrong dance. We can learn it later, Roger. Yeah, I'm sure I've done it at some point. I think you'd be point. brilliant at that. I was just <laughs> thinking, I saw them in 1994. Did you? Supporting Blur, so... They have been around a long time. And even then, there was this army of loyal fans, so it's great that they're having another moment in the sun, isn't it?